something very innovative that didn't exist before in the market, which is called a helicopter socket. And some of you may be familiar with this technique, which is when you were in a, in a construct that just won't come out, you can cut the rods on either end, put this over the pedicle screw, and then literally spin the whole construct right out. So number one, as I talked about the helicopter socket, it's, it's really creating buzz. You know, we obviously have a lot more drivers, a lot more compatibility, but the helicopter socket is what really differentiates in this system. So what it is, is the helicopter socket is what it looks like right there on the screen, is a socket that really captures over the tulip of the pedicle screw. And given that you're able to cut the rods around the pedicle itself, the implant itself. We are working on an upgrade in the near future. Uh, we don't have a timeline yet, but we are working on an insight to rod cutter to make it easier. But in the meantime, surgeons have multiple ways to cut the rods with rod cutters that are out there right now or using surgical drills. They can cut the rod around the implant very close to it as possible, then put the socket on it. And then as you can see, put a T handle or straight handle and extension and spin the whole construct right out without having to worry about the driver that may have stripped or just don't have access to it. So the helicopter sockets come in three different sizes. They come in a small, medium, and large, and you can see the part numbers there. And again, what we recommend is that the surgeon cuts it as close to the pedicle screw as possible, I would say two to five millimeters on either end, and making sure that you don't have any tissue really catching onto it when you're putting the socket on and when you're spinning the whole construct out. And then you can simply figure out which size it is. These are reusable sockets. Put them on, either small, medium, large, put the extension, put the T-handle, and then spin it right out. So this is exactly what happened in the first case we ever did with it. This was in Tampa. We uh, met with this surgeon at NAS, Dr. James St. Louis. He's the surgical founder of Laser Spine Institute. You might have heard or seen TV ads of it. A big shot uh, uh, doctor who, is, who basically invited us after we showed him the set at NAS. And so this is a brand new evaluation of the case. He's never used Shukla Medical before, first time using it. And his AOR staff was also like, we don't really need all these drivers. You know, what's the point of it? We, we're good. We've been using our wrenches before. And so we got in the case. We uh, had an idea this was a Zimmer uh, system, but we don't know which particular one. He was using scopes. So he went in with his camera and fortunately was able to see uh, the, the actual uh, part number. I had him read the part number to me. We Googled it. We confirmed because UDI, Unique Device Identification, on the government website, that's the Zimmer and Compass. Unfortunately, because these drivers were still in production, we did not have the, the Zimmer and Compass on hand at that point. We didn't have the specialty version. We didn't have the Spine V2 version. So then it was the oh shit movement, and then we had to go to the backup plan. And so hence came in the helicopter socket in play. I asked Dr. St. Louis to go ahead and cut the rods in either end as close to the uh, pedicle tulip as possible. He did exactly that. He figured out which size helicopter socket will fit on it. He put it on, he put the extension, and then they chose to, to start using the T-handle. And did it just it wasn't enough force with the T-handle. So they asked for something more, and I said, wait, we have a breaker bar. They put the breaker bar on, and I could really hear the OR staff, the nurse that was helping the first assist, really going <clears throat> on it and really put a lot of force. And before you know it, he was able to spin it and pull the whole thing out. And it, this same OR staff in the morning who told me that we don't really need all these tools, his words, quote unquote, we need this helicopter socket in every case going forward. And also in the changing room afterward, Dr. St. Louis said, Nathan, that this was the most sophisticated revision system I've ever seen, period. So very encouraging first case. Again, wish we had the Zimmer and Compass driver. Now we do in all of our systems going forward and in the standard Spine V2 set. But because of this helicopter socket, we had a backup plan. All of our extractal systems, as you know, in hips, knees, iron nails, always have a backup plan. This was another backup plan for us. Obviously, always have a screw, a broken strip removal set with you as well as a backup in your spine set removal set. But helicopter is not an additional option that wasn't there before and very unique to this brand new system. 